Drew here, Frisco Tennis Shop. In this brief video, I'm going to talk about whether or not it's possible to reduce the grip size of a tennis racket. So say you have bought a four and five eighths grip or four and a half grip and looking for ways to reduce it. I'm gonna discuss whether or not that's possible coming up. So when it comes to picking a grip size for a tennis racket, always pick the smaller one if you're in between. Uh, it is not that hard at all to build up a tennis grip. Uh, you can put a heat shrink sleeve on that builds it up. You can put a couple of over grips on it. Use a thicker grip. It's not hard at all to go from a four and three eighths to four and a half or a four and five eighths grip. So building up a tennis racket grip is not that difficult. Reducing it is extremely difficult. Uh, that being said, I'm going to give three just quick suggestions on things you can do to reduce the grip size that should help a little bit. The first thing you can do is use a thin grip itself. Uh, I'll link to a few grips below that I like that are really thin. Some people say they may not have as much padding as they would like, so that's one of the downsides of using a thinner, lightweight grip. These grips, like Bablot Skin Feel, Wilson Feather Thin, and Turner Pro Thin, these are all very lightweight grips that will be much thinner than a standard tennis grip. I'll link to them below if there's something you're interested in. But these are thinner, lightweight grips that will not build up the grip very much. So I would say that's the simple, that's the most simple solution. That's what I would go with if I was trying to, re to reduce the grip size. Just use one of those thin grips that won't build up the racket too much. A second thing you can do, and some tennis services do it, I try to avoid it, is actually the grip it has a shavable compound to it. So as you can see, I took off the grip itself. I didn't remove the butt cap yet of this, but what you would do is remove the butt cap and just start going through and shaving a little bit at a time. You have to be very meticulous. It's a very tedious process to make sure you're shaving the exact amount from the bevels. It's an octagon to make sure it's even and you still have that bevel grip because you need those bevels in order to make sure you're getting the proper grip. The reason I don't like it is because it's very inaccurate from my experience and also I don't want to impact the integrity of the frame. If it has a shavable compound, you're not impacting the frame itself, but if you go any thinner at all, then you will be. Uh, so be very careful when you're doing that, because uh, if you go too thin, you can impact the integrity of the frame and virtually ruin the racket. A third way, and there's only a few racket models that I know that are like this, like I think Vogel, the company, they actually have exchangeable pallets where the grip is. So the grip itself has these pallets in them, that you can actually contact the company and say, does this racket model have pallets? And they can send them to you and you can actually pop them out and pop the other pallets back in. So it's a long shot and it depends on the company and the racket model, but there are a few rackets out there that have exchangeable pallets that you can pop out and pop in the thinner ones and reduce the grip size. The most important point is if you're in between grip sizes, always choose the thinner one. It is not difficult at all to increase the grip size of a racket. Uh, it is very difficult, as you just heard, to reduce the grip size of a racket. So always go the thinner one. It's very simple to build up. That being said, whether you use a thin grip, if you decide to go the shaving route, you have to be careful of that, or if you happen to have a racket that have pallets that are exchangeable, there are ways to reduce the grip size. Personally, I would always go with the thinner grip, and then I can build it up. Or if I feel like the grip's too thick, I'll probably just go ahead and try and sell the racket and buy a new one rather than mess with it. So honestly, the, sometimes the simplest solution is probably the best solution. Unless it's a racket model that's not made anymore. If the grip's too thick for you, I'd probably just try to find a different racket. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop, and I hope to talk soon.